This Sunday, the third annual Monster Energy Big 3 Championship game will get underway at TD Garden. It's down to two teams, Bivouac and Three's Company, who will be competing for the Dr. J Trophy. The Big 3 is the most competitive professional three-on-three -three basketball league in the world with some of the winningest athletes in basketball history. And joining us live this morning is Three's Company player and co-captain Reggie Evans. And Reggie, so great to have you on and congrats to, on making it to the championship. How excited are you to be playing this weekend at TD Garden? Uh, first of all, thanks for having me, you know, and um, I appreciate this, you know, the city of Boston, you know, having the big three, having us all uh, come, you know, have the championship in this legendary building, legendary city and stuff. So this is great. Thanks. But, um, man, the leading up to get to the championship, it's definitely been tough. You know, it's definitely been tough. It hasn't been easy, you know, but um, it's definitely been worth it. You know, so we right at the top. Uh, this is my second go around being in the championship. The last time I played in the championship, I lost. So. You know, this time I want to be able to um, work my butt off to come out, come out on top on this one. Reggie, when you played in the NBA, I remember you. You were the, you know, one of the best rebounders of your era. And I wanted to ask, how did you get involved with the big three? Um, Rashad Lewis, um, Rashad called me, and um, and we had we probably had a couple conversation about it, um, because I just, you know, I didn't just agree to it right away, um, but after about three phone calls. I know I could just hear it in Rashad's voice. I'm like, all right, all right, I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do it, and um, and that what made me do it and stuff. It's just, and just um, and it just kind of went from there. You know what I'm saying? So, me and him just got the opportunity to play a game with each other and stuff, and we just loved it ever ever since. And Reggie, when you look at your basketball career, it's a real inspiration because you were an undrafted guy going into the NBA, and you end up playing 13 seasons in the NBA. And now you've extended your basketball career here with the big three. How gratifying it is it for you that you've been able to put together the career that you have had playing basketball? It's a, it's a blessing, you know. It's a blessing. Um, so it was, you know, it was a dream come true. And you know, just like I say, with the whole big three just coming out of nowhere, it just gave us an opportunity on um, to kind of build a brotherhood again and be around my brothers and stuff, and still compete against um you know, each other. And not only that, um, you don't have to necessarily do your role that you did in the league. You know what I'm saying? You kind of can change things up a little bit, you know, to kind of showcase things that you do have that you may not showcase and stuff. So um, not only that, the older you get, you know, you want to make sure you stay in good shape, stay in good health and stuff. So us doing this is just keep us in good shape, be able to compete against each other at a high level. And, uh, you know, make it relevant again. And um, I think the big three had just been great, you know, for uh, to just to extend our careers. And we don't even have to go and get up and down the court. We're just playing all half court. <laughs> you know, it's real physical. It's real fun. And um, we're enjoying it. And um, it's very, very, very competitive, extremely competitive. And I think with this championship this weekend, you know, these Boston fans go definitely get, you know, everything they're looking for. You, you hit on it a little bit there. How much of an adjustment was it to go from five on five to three on three? It wasn't it wasn't hard, you know, because, uh, you know, pretty much you you take when you got guys like Mike Bibby, myself, Rashad Lewis, you know, Jermaine O'Neal, um, Kenya Martin, um, Chauncey Billups, Steven Jackson, these guys who originally started from the, from, from the beginning. You got to understand basketball is our life. We wake up to um, basketball. We sleep basketball. We think basketball. We always watch it on TV. We always listen to podcasts. You know what I'm saying? We are waking up to watch the news, watch you on news and stuff. And um, and so when you've been around so many great coaches and stuff and being able to learn and develop and get the IQ, the adjustment is not hard at all. It's not hard at all. It's just pretty much just simplifying everything now. You know what I'm saying? Now it's all about spacing. Um, now you got longer runs on the rotation on the helps and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now you can use a lot of two-man games where you still got the weak side. You know, so um, it's, it's, it, the transition wasn't hard at all. Only transition was just adjusting to the rules, you know, having new rules and stuff like that. So that's the only adjustments and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, just the game itself, Nah, you know, you take Nick Young, for example, he coaching, you know, Nick Young, even though we beat them yesterday, but when they were making timeout, Nick were actually drawing up good plays, you know what I'm saying, for his team. And they were coming out doing great with some of the plays they were drawing up, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, now you now this weekend, now you got Gary Payton. <laughs> you already know what his mind is as far as like <laughs> one of the best point guards in the hunt, <laughs> you know, and the best point guards in the world. Then across there, you got Michael Cooper, 
with so much knowledge, you got to think about Cooper didn't want a championship on every level. You name it, he won it. You know, now the only thing he don't have is a big three championship. You know, so so you know you got two, you know, two major icons, coaches that got so much knowledge into the game to you know to deliver so much good message going into this weekend in Boston, and all of that. You know, this the, the history with Michael Cooper with um with the Celtics. You know, what I'm saying so. It's going to be good to get a chance to see a lot of the fans from his era pop up and see him in the building and make sure they get him his welcome, however that will be and stuff. Yeah, right. Well, whatever that'll be, of course. He's a former Laker and, uh, of course, has beaten the, the Celtics. They've, those two teams obviously went back and forth in the 1980s, but obviously a basketball legend. You know, Reggie, before we let you go, give us the scouting report on your team, Three's Company. We, we saw the clips of some of the players that are on your team. Mario Chalmers, former NBA champion with the Miami Heat. He's on your club. Why do you think your team is going to beat Bivouac? Well, you know, I don't want to give up too much um, because, you know, we, we've been on um, you know, we've been on FaceTime a lot, kind of going over some Things and I think we kind of want to go a totally different direction out the box where a lot of people not go expect. So I don't want to let too much out. Um, but it's great to have Mario. Well, um, one thing about Mario, but Mario is pretty much our best decision maker. You know, what I'm saying so we like to use Mario in a lot of pick and rolls. Uh, he can make great decision. Um, you know, he one of our best spot up shooters. Mike Beasley, pretty much. You know, he pretty much unlimited when it comes to scoring. You know what I mean? No matter where you put him on the block, the high post, the three-point line, the, you know, the wing, it doesn't matter. That's what he do. Um, we got Nas coming off the bench, a great guy who can create and get his own shot. You know, and um, and he also taking a challenge to regard some of the, uh, the top guards in this league. You know what I'm saying? So he's been doing great. And Sean Williams, another guy just uh, know his role, come in, get rebounds, get block shots, um, willing to guard guards with no problem and stuff. So I think we just got a great, great balance of guys. And, and you got me pretty much the glue of the team. And, you know, um, me rebounding the ball and me not trying to be a scorer like I used to be early in the big three, just um, accepting my role as a lesser role, which it, everything's been working out real good for us. You know what I'm saying? So not a lot of egos. Everybody's just happy to see everybody win. So it just feel good just to have a real brotherhood with the threes company and going to the championship team and just knowing that, you know, we all together on one page. And we're looking forward to watching it this weekend. Three's Company co-captain Reggie Evans, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, good luck on Sunday. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, and be sure to tune in to the championship weekend at TD Garden starting at 3 o'clock this Sunday, live on CBS. Tickets are still available for the Celebrity All-Star and Championship game, so be sure to check it out.